All right, I'm always so happy to be here with Mark Silver. Whenever we get to talk, I feel like it's, uh, I learned something and it's also a healing experience just to be in Mark's presence. Um, Mark, uh, Mark's business is called Heart of Business and I hope you all check it out. It's heartofbusiness.com, very easy to remember. You can find uh, you know, him and Heart of Business on the social medias as well. I'll put the links below. And um, Mark has been like a champion of, uh, well, what, what I would call authentic business, but Mark, you, you might call it, well, the heart of business or a more um, deep and holistic relationship that we might have with business. And Mark's been doing this for longer than I have. So that's why I, I feel like I'm always learning from Mark's grounded experience. And um, Mark, it's just great to connect with you and, and have you share with my audience. Thank you for doing this. I'm so delighted, George, every time we get to spend time yeah. together. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, there's so much I, I want to ask you. Um, the main thing I feel like can always be beneficial and, and helpful and healing to, to everyone in my audience is the relationship we have to our business. Um, and it's so different the way you teach it compared to uh, how the mainstream, you know, <laughs> talks about relationship with business. Is there one? I don't know. Um, but, but maybe, maybe we could start there. Like, how do you see it differently than what, than what, a, what you see a lot happening in the mainstream and how business is usually taught and done? Right. Thank you for that. And, um, yeah, so the thing that I always like to start out telling clients is that if you have a reaction to business, a negative reaction to business, I don't want you to just get over it or get through it or like try to bully yourself past it. I, we have really legitimate reasons for having a terrible um, relationship with business because business has had a terrible relationship with us and with the world. You know, it's like um, so many of the things that we hate about, you know, that we really struggle with that are really, that we're really challenged by are a result of um, people trying to uh, gain unethically large fortunes through um, heartless business, you know, whether there's um, uh, a lack of healthcare available in the United States, whether the environmental damages that are done by large corporations, the incessant decades of lying by the tobacco companies or the petroleum companies um, uh, that took very real dangerous tolls on people. And, uh, you know, in the origins of capitalism in the United States have I, you know, are based firmly in the institution of slavery, which is horrendous, um, uh, uh, multi multi century uh, experience. And so, I, I say all of this because we need to trust our hearts. I want people to trust their hearts. And the other side of that is that commerce, trade. Uh, people being engaged in various kinds of trade has been around as long as humanity's been around, you know, at, at a certain point. It's been around for thousands of years. It's looked very different at different points. We can find love, you know, we can find humanity, we can find relationships of heart and care in business, but we have to lean in. We have to trust the reactions that our hearts have, but also to look for like, what are the pathways here? What are the ways to have a business that, yes, supports us, you know, yes, um, allows us to feed ourselves and allows us to thrive, but without hurting anyone and without betraying ourselves. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really, really um, different way of approaching business than you know the typical mainstream i feel like so much is just profit 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 it's always profit this profit that you know and just always focused on the numbers is how we usually uh, get in touch with business and there's this idea that it's just a tool to to make money and to do it in as little time as possible and that's what successful business is 
<laughs> you know, and 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 so no no wonder no wonder the tactics uh, feel cold too. And then the, um, the those of us who are heart based business owners don't don't feel you know nurtured by by those tactics uh, both from from both sides. I mean, we've we've experienced it as consumers, and then we are taught to do this, and it's like no. So your tactics, I mean, your strategies are of course all you know grounded on this this new and much more healthy i think relationship with business um maybe you can give us a sense of what that means then you know it's like okay yeah let's relate let's relate in a more heart-based way now what does that mean on a day-to-day basis yeah well i mean there's a lot of different ways that it pops up and i think that um for those in your audience, like you have been an, a, a wonderful example of this. Like you came out of, um, uh, you know, business not being such a good thing and you waking up and seeing that. And um, like a lot of people have, like I did too. And then you're like, I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to do it based on relationships and caring and not harming people and thinking about how do I get my needs met without like being bad to other people. I mean, it's kind of simple, you, you know, and I, I'm always, I see this over and over again, that when I talk to other people that I respect, generally, the un, even our strategies might be different, but the underlying principles are the same. So for instance, um, we had started to kind of uh, dabble in social media advertising a few years ago. And, you know, we, we said, huh, can we do it in a heart-centered way, like do the whole social media ad to webinar to sale kind of thing. Like, let's just see, can we do this? And we couldn't do it like that because the only way to do that effectively is to create manipulative hard sell um, lies in the webinar that force people into a kind of a trauma reaction to get them to purchase without thinking, right? It was like really, really damaging model. However, what we realized was, oh, you know what? We don't need to get a purchase immediately. Like it's okay to build up a relationship. So we started using social media advertising as a way to be who we are, to express who we are and to invite people into a closer relationship with us. And what we found was that, no, we didn't get immediate sales. It wasn't this like, okay, well, we're gonna run the webinar. We're gonna run the ads into the webinar and we're gonna get a a certain number of sales, which we then run more ads and then we end up with a profit. Instead, what we saw is people coming into our audience, taking in what it is that we're teaching and then people learning that they could trust us, that they liked us enough and then stepping into our offers and they would buy a month later, six months later, a year later, and it still really worked. But without hurting anyone you yeah know? <laughs> oh my gosh the way you said that uh, i had it's trauma re- trauma reaction to sales um and you know done in a webinar format i i can't tell you i mean that's the typical webinar you'll see if you you know consume social media advertising and sign up for these webinars that's exactly what's happening. And it's so true. And by the way, I'm sorry, but I used to do that kind of model because I thought that there was, I thought that that's how you're supposed to do it. (laughs) And so um, thank you for uh, kind of, yeah, being willing to, to, to do something much more relational. Um, And, and this this is great. You know, one of the things I want to ask you, um, we didn't talk about this before, but you had you had just done a session I saw about shame. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. And, Thirty minutes ago. Right. Right. And <laughs> and I I wonder if there's anything you want to mention around what what why why was that topic something you felt you needed to talk about and what's what was yeah. the overall gist of, of that session? It's a great question. You know, I, I what I notice in our audience over the last 20 some years is that um, there are a number of topics that seem to stop people in their tracks and that they keep circling around, pouring a tremendous amount of attention, trying to fix it, trying to heal it, trying to move through it. I had done a similar format webinar on 
spiritual truths about resistance in business about a month or so ago. And then this one on shame is that, and I did it like, it's a 30 minute webinar. It's like 10 minutes of teaching and a short guided exercise and a couple of Q and A because I wanted people to understand that one, you don't have to be fully enlightened and completely healed in order to you know, be effective at business. I won't even say successful because success is such a weird word in our culture, but to be effective, to have a business that nourishes you and supports you and yeah, makes money and helps people. We don't, we don't have to be perfect about it. And um, it was such a funny thing because right before the webinar, like I was supposed to call, you know, I like, you know, we had 450 people registered. I wanted to call in 10 minutes early and I dropped a glass and it shattered. And so the 10 minutes before the webinar, I was cleaning up the mess um, and vacuuming. In fact, the vacuum is uh, still in my office from that. But it's like, it was such a perfect thing because we're so imperfect in business. And the shame piece that I wanted people to get was, um, and I, I, it's, I, I should probably be careful because otherwise we'll end up in a whole webinar about shame. But I, want, I, wanted to, I wanted people to know that they didn't have to feel trapped by it, that shame was really covering over something else, that we can't really heal shame because it's not an emotion, it's a story. And um, uh, it's a free webinar. If people are interested, I'm sure we can just get them the link. But it's like there's, um, but I wanted people to have some freedom and some nourishment and some ease in facing these things that inevitably come up in business. You know, we're going to have, or, you know, we're going to notice stories of shame when we try to put ourselves out in the world because that's those, that's what we were fed when we were young and by the culture around us. You know, we're going to feel resistance to getting to the really important things that we know we should get to um, because, you know, we're, it's, it's, it's one of these dynamics and the answer is not pushing through and the answer is not trying to do some kind of complete spiritual healing and reaching enlightenment. There's, there are other avenues through that honor our humanity and allow us some movement. Yeah, beautiful with that. Yeah, thank you. And uh, speaking of like not reaching enlightenment before we take the next steps, I mean, this this is this is I feel like the constant um, practice or perhaps even struggle that we have in business is there's always stuff going on in here um, mm -hmm. that feels like well, therefore. I'm not, I'm not able to do this today, or I'm not ready to, 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 to put this out there yet. Or um, I, I know I could probably be in a more inspired state. And so there's this stuff going on here and then there's stuff going on out there. Um, so much stuff going on out there so that uh, especially for those who are activists, um, it's like, what, what, how does my business, <laughs> you know, it's like, there's so much more important stuff in the world. Um, shouldn't I just be giving, you know, more of my time to that? And, and so I'd like for you to just share about that because you also are active in bringing a more, you know, just and caring world. And, um, you know, and, and so it's like, how, how do you balance or how do you even keep your business going and kind of staying faithful to that? Um, despite everything that's out there and all the storms also within here. Right. It's a beautiful question. And, and you have a family. To, <laughs> to I raise. do. <laughs> I do. I do. Twin teenage sons. And, yeah. You amazing, know, amazing. Um, you know, I just wrote about this recently because it's been, uh, I write about it, right. You know, every now and again, regularly because, it, it does, it comes up. Um, without a doubt, we need to be engaged in helping to manifest, make real presence the world that we want, you know, whether we're involved in protests or involved in volunteering or involved in lo local communities or government or whatever we're doing to help be engaged, like that part is really important. 
but we can't be constantly responding in a mode of emergency. In fact, part of what um, uh, the economy, the culture, the end stage capitalism asks, you know, wants us to do is to be exhausted all the time so that we can't live our lives, so that we can't contribute in a good way. Our lives are, you know, worthy also. The business is worthy also. It, it, the business will not be successful if it takes up all of our time because we'll be burnt out and we won't be nourished and fed. We often, you know, need, it needs less than we think sometimes. Yeah, but it does need care and attention. It needs care and attention and it deserves care and attention. For many of us, our businesses are our livelihood, but they are also our contribution to the world. It's a place where our gifts often come alive in some fashion. And that is, that's worthy, you know, local small businesses that allow their owners some flexibility that really support them, support local economies, support local communities. It supports, you know, I, at this point, it took me quite a while to get there, to get my business to this state, but I work, you know, a 24 to 30 hour week at the most. I don't tend to work Fridays. Um, after this call, you know, my boys will be home from school and I can spend time with them because I'm not working till five or six and then commuting. You know, it's like there's, um, it's worthy, it's a, it's, it's a worthy contribution to the love and peace and uh, justice in this world to also be developing our businesses. And um, I know that that particular message can be twisted to uh, a purely selfish perspective, like, oh, you know, if you just get rich enough, then you'll be able to donate money. Like, I, I'm not a fan of that approach. You know, if it's on your path and your business does well enough that you have a lot, a lot of money coming in and then you can endow things and throw tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars around, that's beautiful. Okay, great. Um, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that a healthy, decent sized business that can support you in a, in, a, in a good way is also a contribution to the world and is also worthy of attention. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I, I always think about how business itself also is, a, is this kind of a stage for both our personal growth yes. and also it's an um, expression of our values too. It's like, yeah, yes, why couldn't justice and peace and love be, well, it, just like we said earlier, how you do your marketing, you know, is very much an expression, an expression of that and a kind of a, a stand for something and against something. And uh, yeah, that's really great. And I, I, pre, I so appreciate that you continue, um, you know, your, your blog and, and social media posts and are, are continuing to educate and uplift your audience in these different ways. Um, I wanna talk about the, the programs that you offer because mm. uh, although some people watching this uh, know about you, others are just finding out about you for the first time. And I feel like you, your programs are so well honed from you know, having had many cohorts go through them that I think it's really worth um, talking about. And a couple, I mean, you've got, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We're, we're, let, let's start with the one that's part of business, because in fact, as of this recording, that one is coming up soon, and it's a once a year experience. Um, that's a, it's a, you know, it's a real time experience. It's not something that people can join. It's an evergreen thing. So tell us about the heart of business program, and um, and actually, I'm really curious what your answer. Why is it not an evergreen thing? Why why you you know insist on having it be live? Because there's reasons for that. So yeah, what who, who is it for, and what can they expect as part of the experience, and and why is it live? Mm, that's a great all three great questions. Um, Hmm. So the heart of your business is a nine week course that we do once a year and it's um, it's for, you know, it's for a surprisingly wide um, 
uh, group of people. I, everyone, like everyone in our audience is either solo or they have very tiny businesses, like just a handful of people involved. And really, you know, a lot of time, a lot really the topic of what we're talking about today is a part of it. Like I, what I wanted to do, because I saw so many people struggle to learn how to develop their business because their relationship with business was so tortured. It's like every new topic they came to, it's like, oh my God, I hate selling. Oh my God, I hate marketing. Oh my God, I'm struggling with money and pricing. Oh my God, I'm... it's like there were so many emotional roadblocks. What I wanted to do was to give people a foundation of here is how we can really honor our reactions around business, like I started out saying, but here's also how we can have a healthy relationship with business in general and a healthy relationship with our business in particular. And to have that kind of healing foundation at the same time that I laid out the um, terrain of what it takes practically to develop a micro business. You know, what are the stages of development? What are the pieces that are involved? How do you make a commitment to it? You know, how do you like, how do you get your arms around what it really takes to develop a business? Not just to like learn one thing, right? Like there's a lot of courses out there. You teach brilliant courses on things of like, oh, here's how you do this thing. And that's so necessary. We have courses like that too. I wanted to give people a foundation so they could get their arms around the whole journey at a principle level, not in a strategy level, so that whoever they're learning from, maybe they're learning from you, maybe they're learning from, you know, 10 other people, but each of those pieces, they know where it fits. And so instead of it being like, oh, here's just a mess of tactics and strategy, and I don't know how it all fits together into a business, this is the container you're looking at. And because it's it's like that we've had people in there who haven't yet started a business and they just wanna get an idea of like, what's it really gonna take? So they know the journey they're on. We've had people who are new and they're struggling and then they kind of get a sense of, again, the journey and they're like, oh, I can just focus on this. All this stuff that people are telling me I have to get done, I, that can wait till later. Like I understand the sequence and how to be with this in a non-overwhelming way. And then there's people that have been in business for a long time and the business is kind of functioning uh, or maybe it's functioning well, but it's exhausting. There's something that's like, it's, they still don't have the big picture because nobody, like it's hard to, it's, there's no MBA out, MBA out there for tiny businesses. And so that's what we wanted to do was to really create this space so people could have a healthy relationship with the business and really understand the terrain. And that's what it is. Um, it's live um, because I wanted people to like, there's a, there's a good portion of the, like a lot of the teachings and lessons are, there are videos and PDFs that we ask people to go over every week. Um, but there's a live session for deepening and for questions and people also turn in assignments and um, answer questions, you know, I mean, ask questions there and we answer them in a written format. And so, <clears throat> Quite frankly, um, I wanted people to go through the course and to actually get something out of it. A lot of times things are evergreen and people don't always, they buy it, but they don't engage with it. Um, the other thing is, is that I, um, evergreen, uh, we have, we we have tried evergreen and we might return to it in certain, as in, in certain aspects, but something that we try to teach people is that just because something's available doesn't mean people will buy it. It still takes promotion. Um, it still takes making it visible to the audience just because it's sitting on their website doesn't mean people buy it. And so if we were going to be promoting it and we were going to be giving the attention to promote it and to make it visible, I wanted to give the attention and focus that people could get more support than just recordings. So that's, um, that's, yeah, you know, that's I where we landed with it. Really respect that model because essentially, you, you know, you, you and the team are focused on like one program at a time. It's like, this is what we're supporting right now. And it's like, you know, and people know also your audience has, oh, okay, well, if you're going to take part in Mark's programs. This is the time, you know, this is, this is the time to do it. And then um, the next one, the next one, next one. Uh, maybe just quickly uh, share what else is coming up 
in the next let's say year or so that people can look forward to. <laughs> um, I'm releasing a book in spring. Of yeah, I know. Right? So um, cool. Yeah. yeah, so exciting. Um, just finished the rough draft and got it off to my editor. But, you know, yeah. the heart of our program is we have something that we call the learning community mm -hmm. that, yes. again, yes. we only open enrollment um, a few times a year because we want the container of it. But what I discovered is that true business development, like where somebody really goes from, oh my God, this isn't working to, oh, the business is really running really well in all the different ways. It doesn't happen in six months. It doesn't happen in a year. It happens over two or three or four years because things need to be iterative. There's a lot of different topics that need to be covered. And, um, and people also go up and down in terms of how much attention they can give the business, you know, they've got ailing parents or children need something or they have a health crisis or they just need a break or whatever it is. And we wanted to create, I, a few years ago, I created this container of the learning community that allows people. Um, and by the way, the previous course and the learning community are priced at a pay from the heart level, um, pay from the heart pricing. Um, we do ask what, well, you know, we do, we're upfront, like this is our sustainable level. If you can pay this, this would be helpful, but you know, we want people regardless. And um, I wanted a container where people could continue to have a place where their business, they could give attention to their business, that they could get help, that it wasn't just DIY, that there was actual support the whole way, the whole way through until their business was really really successful and people come we do virtual retreats every other month there's a lot of spiritual nourishment there are uh, a couple dozen learning modules that are on very specific things in business you know how do you you know what content do you put on your website and you know how do you do a heart-centered launch and how do you do networking or ask for referrals or create a craft and offer or launch there's all these different pieces that are covered <clears throat> and there's support for all of it and um I wanted people to feel like, you know, take off your jacket, put down your bags, relax. You don't have to like get through this course and get everything implemented by the end of the course um, because then the support goes away at the end of the course. I wanted people to know that they could go through it um, at a pace that felt really human and doable. So those are, you know, we have a few other offerings I just, did a day long business model intensive, which is a little bit more of an advanced topic for more developed businesses. I did a, um, we have our heart of money and power transformational journey happens at the beginning of the year. You know, there's a few other things sprinkled in there. Um, yeah, I'm really glad that you mentioned about the learning community though, because I think that is uh, something that folks might want to look into. Um, and you open it several times a year. So there's, there's opportunities coming up um, pretty yeah. soon, I'm sure. Yes. So um, now, Mark, thank you. Thank you for the work that you do and how you do it. I'm always grateful uh, to see you out there and, you know, um, always someone I can point to and says, yeah, that's, that's a business that's done in a, in a really authentic and, and caring way. So thank you. Um, and I hope folks will check out your website, social media. You're continuing to um, post, post and publish things that are of, of you know, nourishment to, to folks. So I hope um, people will make use of that so mm, thank you george and thank you for continuing to do such ethical heart-centered business yourself it's like uh we have so many people who have come to us mm. um uh from your programs and people who from our programs go to your programs yeah. and i've never heard anybody say anything bad nothing but good things about your work and well um, I'm, I'm i'm grateful that they're they're kind enough not to say anything bad no 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 no, <laughs> no and you know and, just, and i've and i've personally benefited from your coaching and help you, as well you. so grateful. just the highest respect for you there are there are a few people that i always continue to reconnect with on a regular basis and you are one of those very few like i mentioned so thank you and um yeah wishing you a successful you know launch of the hard of your business program and of course the upcoming book so excited to share it and buy it as well so thanks mark thank you thank you